All right, <clears throat> Jesse Taylor. That's a problem. That's a problem. Reason why is because she displays such a childish behavior on the internet, and people know it. People hate on it. But I want to give you my opinion about it. The reason why I want to give this opinion, not because it went viral, um, because there's a lot of things that go viral, but there are a few things that I really want to touch on. This sort of hits home to me. I'll give you a little bit of backstory, okay? I've studied photography in Sydney, Australia. I came back and thought, you know, let's work as a photographer. The harsh reality of it all is I didn't get any photography jobs. I didn't get anything at all. I had to work three jobs of, and none of them relating to photography, none of them as a photographer. And getting paid not that well and just had to keep on working and sort of build everything from the beginning, okay? Now, Jesse Taylor is an Instagrammer with around 112,000 followers, okay? She put up a video crying over that she doesn't want to go to 9 to 5. She, um, she's nothing without her followers, that sort of thing, okay? That's a huge problem, and... I mean, yes, it is obvious. You can probably tell why it's a, such a huge problem. But I, I just want to talk about this. Because she relates to 9 to 5 as something she hates. Hey, feel you. Most of you feel you, okay? The other thing is you don't. You want to do something else. You, you have a dream and you should pursue it. That's what I'm trying to push. <clears throat> in my photographs, in the video, for like the purpose video, I like cry. That's... that's that is 100% me feeling like shit because reality is how it is and I display that but besides what she's doing she's crying over her Instagram account being removed okay she says she's nothing without her followers and everything like that if you're nothing without your followers then you don't deserve your followers first of all and just you crying out like that it's fine, but don't put that up. Use that and do something positive with it, okay? And then you can show from where you were and where you are now, okay? You told me, you told us you're a, you were a stripper and you didn't want to go back to 9 to 5. You're not one of those people. Hey, in that sense, I feel you. I have empathy and sympathy for you. But where I fucking draw the line is when you say you're nothing without your followers. Again, then you don't deserve your followers. The amount of followers you have doesn't dictate who you are or who you should be, okay? If you are nothing without your followers, but something with your followers, then you're basically nothing, okay? You have to find yourself before you, before you put value to how many followers you have. If I have 1,000 followers... 500 followers, 2 million followers. That won't change me who I am. And all this, and just as a side note, okay? You cry out that you don't want to do your 9 to 5. You cry out that you're nothing without your followers. And first of all, getting paid online by posting photographs, if you think that's hard work, don't even give that as an excuse like, oh my god, I just put so much time into this. Yes, you might have, okay? But that's not hard, okay? It's time consuming and you did it, but that doesn't mean it's hard. If you think that's hard, then have you really hit rock bottom? Or are you just very privileged? That's what pisses me off. Because yeah, it sucks, it fucking sucks. Now you have to go back to 9 to 5. I have people at my work. I work as a store at a storage company, and people go back, go off, like quit the job, and they're like, "No, they're free." And then six months later, they're back. Yeah, it fucking sucks, but you have to pick yourself up and do something that's <sighs> do th something that's meaningful. If you post a photograph and showing half your ass, that's nothing. That is nothing, okay? Then what people expect you to do in the next post is post something similar to that or with less clothes, okay? And how does that make you feel? If it doesn't make you feel good, if you don't feel like you're doing something valuable or meaningful with your life, but it is, it brings you views, followers and everything, you sell yourself out.
That's easy as that. If you want to do something you love, you do it, and then comes the followers, okay? You don't do something because of followers, like ass photographs, for example. If you do that, then you won't have any sort of value to things. What you have is people following you. But then when you bring up a product like like some new coffees a company selling, then they might not, your viewers might not even be interested in that. They just want to see the ass photographs or whatever it is. Now, I don't know what you post because I can't see because your Instagram account is deleted. But if you are posting photographs of yourself all the time and bring, if, and if you truly feel like you're bringing no value to people, if 90% or 80% of your common flow is sex a or heart photographs or like hand emojis or fucking burn emojis, then hey, change your life. It's good that you got your Instagram account deleted because now you can start working on yourself. That's my true opinion. If you have a dream, you go through the 9 to 5 till you can work your ass off with your dream. But crying, complaining that... You're no longer earning money by pressing two buttons on Instagram. I don't buy that shit for one second. And that's my opinion.